today we're going to learn more about the Industrial Revolution and an important man by the name of Andrew Carnegie. Who was this man? He looks like an old man in this picture and a little bit like Santa Claus. He was called an industrialist, a philanthropist, that's a big word, a robber baron, and a captain of industry. His life story is a classic American story of going from rags to riches. As a young boy, he lived in Scotland. His parents were very poor, and they brought their family to America, hoping for better opportunities. As a young boy, he worked in a button factory, and later, he taught himself how to use a telegraph. He was hired to work on the railroads, and later became a bridge builder. Andrew Carnegie didn't really build the bridges himself, he just sold the iron for the bridges. He convinced his customers that steel was a lot better than iron, and he made a fortune. When I say a fortune, I mean he was the second richest man in the world. But he was also known for not being very good to his workers. His workers worked very hard in dirty, unsafe, dangerous conditions. His workers often had to work 80 plus hours a week with no overtime and only made $10 a week. His steel mills were a dangerous place to be and it wasn't uncommon for people to get injured or even die. In his later life, Carnegie felt guilty about this. I think he did anyway. One of his most famous quotes is, the man who dies rich dies disgraced and he didn't want to die rich. And so Carnegie made a commitment to give away all of his wealth before he died. Carnegie believed in education and he supported colleges throughout the world with his donations. He also loved music and he built and owned the Carnegie Hall in New York City. Carnegie knew how important knowledge was and not everybody could go to college so he's best known for establishing over 3,000 libraries throughout the world mostly in the United States. By the time that Carnegie died he had given away over four and a half billion dollars in today's money. So what was it? Was Carnegie a good guy or was he a bad guy? It's kinda complicated. I'm gonna let you answer that one for yourself.